Well, hello again from Kingston, where today it's relatively mild, if a little grey. It's plus six centigrade, but it was quite different during the week. So if you want to find out the details, keep watching. Thanks for tuning in. It would be a good example of British understatement to say that Monday was a little damp. Persistent rain and high winds brought about an early finish for most workers. Even Nancy, the LR1200 crane, decided to take a lie down. But early on Tuesday, when conditions were much more favourable, we welcomed a new team, Kylie Paving, to the site. They delivered a massive grinding machine. They would spend the day preparing the areas where the old Highway 15 will meet the new intersection of Gore Road and the highway. And everywhere the grinder went, the Bucket and Mop Brigade was just behind. Efficient paving practice demanded a clean, clear joint where the new asphalt will meet the old. All the while, the capable crew from Sousa Ready Mix continued to work on the preparation of islands and curbs on Highway 15. Later on, we'll see how much they achieved during the week. The Tomlinson team were busy too on Highway 15 preparing and confirming the position and function of drains before new asphalt is laid. Their work would continue throughout the week with one interruption. We all woke on Wednesday to a very snowy morning. The situation obviously affected both ends of the bridge. Where it was safe to do so, work did continue. But in circumstances such as in traffic lanes, the workers were sent home. And considerable care was taken to protect the public by clearing sidewalks and other areas. Happily, Thursday turned out to be a completely different sort of day. Sousa returned to prepare the traffic island on the south side of the highway and by the afternoon they were already pouring it. It was overall a busy scene as workers tried to make up for lost time. CBM delivered concrete which was carried by bucket to several smaller areas. Here's the situation at the end of the week as we await asphalt. But you might be wondering what was going on on the bridge itself. Early on Thursday, the concrete form for the south side of the east abutment was placed. As the week ended, work was already proceeding inside the abutment. Out at the east end of the concrete spans, work to lay concrete slabs on span 16 was considerably advanced this week. And the position of every one is carefully measured and confirmed. 
this is how things looked going into the weekend. There was a lot of activity on the steel structure too, including the movement of a lighting set and the departure of some heaters. Work is underway on the junction between the steel structure and the concrete and it's always nice to get a friendly wave from other members of the crew. The painstaking and essential work of laying the reinforcing rod continues throughout and there was yet another delivery this week. Before we go to this week's wildlife, here's how we stand on the steel structure. So that brings another week to a close. Thanks for watching. Please remember, it's a great encouragement to me if you like and subscribe the video. And don't forget to leave any comments, positive or negative, in the description below.